Hey, my Scorpios. This is an X reading to see if it's likely that you and your ex will reunite, reconcile, smooth over your differences, all of that, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, of course, this is a general reading, so it um, will not resonate for all of you. If some parts resonate, take that out of there, okay? If the other parts don't, leave it alone, all right? Don't try to make it fit, guys, okay? I saw two of cups there. That's wonderful. I like it. Two of pentacles. That just means that you guys are trying to get an alignment. You're trying to get your balance. You're trying to get on the right page, I, I feel like, here. All right, my Scorpios. One more shuffle, and then we're going we're gonna to jump right into this. Here we go. This is you. This is them. What you want. What they want. What you need. What they need. Is there anyone else involved? For you. For them. All right, Scorpios. Okay. So, Scorpio, I feel like, <clears throat> first of all, I feel like the sides are flipped. Okay. Um, and I say that because I see the Seven of Cups with the Magician. Okay. And that is almost being confused about this person. You're not really sure if you guys give it a go. Is it going to be smooth sailing? You want to make it work. You're going to try your damnedest to make it work is what I feel. Now, keep in mind that it can go vice versa, but I strongly feel like this is you on this side, okay? I feel like this is an, an Aries Taurus energy on this side, all right, Scorpios? So that is how I feel that, that you are feeling currently, okay? Because we start off with the Seven of Cups, and this is the position of where you are currently, okay? kind of feeling disillusioned. Um, you're feeling like, you know, you could have several different things with this person, but you're not sure on how to make it happen here. You're not sure if you're going to be able to um, be who you are in this connection or if they're going to accept you for who you are because Scorpios are intense but keep in mind that if this is an Aries here they're intense as well they don't come with the intensity that you guys come with but they're almost a match for you all right so be yourself here if that is how you're feeling be yourself okay because I feel like this person is wanting to share with you and I feel like this person knows who you are they're waiting on you you are the shipment that they're looking for, okay? They have decided on you. They've decided they want to give their energy to you. They feel like you're worth it. So if you're feeling confused about that, surrounding how they feel, I'm here to tell you, they want to share with you, okay? I don't feel like they're going to look at you and say, oh, you know, that Scorpio's too much for me. No, because I feel like they already know who you are. Even if you're kind of like going into this and, you know, you're not being your usual intense Scorpio self, they know that the reason why you're doing that, okay? I don't feel like they have these high expectations of you, all right? Okay, so what they need is really to go into this slowly, to think about what happened between you guys in the past, what broke you up before, um you know what brought on the separation did they communicate how they were supposed to and you know really kind of evaluate if you're going to communicate how you're supposed to you know it's just all about you know a sharing a, a, a shared exchange of energy between the two of you um, what you need is to make this thing happen okay decide what it is that you want and go for it full force okay don't let this confusion hold you back. Decide that you want this cup, or this cup, or this cup, this fiery cup, okay? This Aries, okay? Because I strongly feel Aries over here. All right, so <clears throat> is anyone else involved? I just feel like this person's very stable. 
And I feel like they're looking for, I don't think anyone else is involved, let me just say that. But I think they're looking for stability and they're not going to accept anything less than that. Okay, so if you're not bringing stability, then they're, you're not for them or they're not for you. Okay, because that's what they're all about at this point because they are stable. So they're looking for somebody to match them. So let's get rid of that. All right. This is you. You just don't want your relationship to end up in this three of swords here on either one of your sides. All right. You just want to go forward smoothly. You want to move forward with this person smoothly to where you guys are happy, fulfilled, and together. Being able to communicate, you know, love each other mutually. All right? Let's see. Look at that. If it's likely, I would say that's a hell yes. Look at this, Three of Pentacles. You guys working together in unison. Working together in unison. Look at that. Three to the six. That's double the effort. All right? To work together to make this thing happen. Beautiful Scorpios. All right, guys, so I will speak with you next time, okay? Have a good one.